皆さん、こんにちは。Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Scott Perry, and this is Let's Talk Hawaii, live today from Tokyo, Japan. This program is about English pronunciation, communication, and interesting things and people. You can see me here every other Tuesday at 3 p.m. Hawaii time. There we go. I had to make sure. So I'm in a different time zone right now, so a little bit different. Today's topic is listen more carefully to speak. More clearly. Hmm. So, what is it? More clearly. More clearly. More clearly. More clearly. More clearly. Well, it's true because when you are learning English from Japan, you are learning basically English words in the Japanese style. So, Nihongo nan deskido, itcho ego benke steren nan deskido, Nihon no oto de benke steren. So, that's why I'm going to say that 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 Yet they will still say haro when they pick up the phone or thank you. After 10 years of hearing hello, 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 na no ni haro. It, so much you, you have to realize that's not the same. Onaji just onaji ja nain desu. It's not the same. So, <clears throat> I think it's similar to American people going to Japan and then saying things like karaoke. Well, we've learned that it is karaoke, but in Japan it's called karaoke. But karaoke, 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 keep them all. Karaoke, the you come. So we have to just listen more carefully and try to talk. Now, I,、um, I'm here in Japan on a business trip. I have several seminars that I've had to do and some workshops. Sashibiri desu kara, seminar ya workshop ya ippa yatte mas. De, kono program no atto, tsugu atto ni, I have to go straight to another workshop, ariwa seminar. I have some pictures of a recent seminar. Um, that I did actually two days ago. Here's one. Well, that's me in Tokyo. And、uh, there's another slide of, there we go. And that's me right there with another、uh, assistant or、uh, speaker. But I had to speak to 600 nin. 600 nin atsumari mashita n e to listen to. English. Let's see, I have one more picture of the group. And there's,、uh, there's my Tokyo. So, 600 seats, seats, they set up 600 seats for everyone. And they needed to add maybe 30 or 40 more seats. But the topic was similar how to improve your English and your pronunciation. It was、uh, very fun. Some people ask me, Are you nervous to talk to so many people? So, I was a very big crowd. That was my largest crowd in a long time. Actually, my largest crowd for one topic. But there are no people in this video. I was a very big crowd. 自分の話することだけフォーカスして、and you don't notice the people. Actually, if you focus on the people, then you might become nervous when you're speaking. So many people are 
nervous about speaking to large crowds, but focus on your topic, kind of scan the room. It was not a problem. So thank you for that question anyway. And um, <clears throat> so today, listening more carefully. Um, let's see. Oh, before I get to that topic, I was uh, starting to feel a little homesick for Hawaii. It's, um, it's been raining here every day. Asakara yoruma, asakara ban, rain. I haven't seen this much rain in several years since I've been back, but it was, it's raining all day. It's raining right now. I got two umbrellas. And uh, so I saw a, I was looking for some food. I saw a poster and I said, oh, this is Hawaii. So this is what I found when I was walking. It looks like a very large Hawaiian burger. That's a big $15 Hawaiian burger. This. It was uh, very good. So after eating that, I could feel like I was in Hawaii. But it's not quite the same taste. Anyway, it was good enough for me. Now, <clears throat> speaking, speaking English and speaking better, there's a connection to listening. But oftentimes, students are not really listening. Not really listening to the details. So it's important that you focus on details of sound. Living in America for several years, you should no longer say haro. You should notice everyone else is saying hello. They're moving their mouth differently. They're making different sound. So as you're speaking, you want to make sure, did you say what you heard? So that's that you will improve your pronunciation. You will improve your communication. Communication is good. あの、もう learned the word and the meaning. And it's not the American sound, but it is the Japanese English sound. But when you say it or hear it, ah, what is everyone saying? If you actually record, slow down, and listen carefully, you will find there's many different sounds that you're skipping. There's many changes in sound. And not teaching you that Ariwa someone to ask if you don't have a person to ask so American people um, cannot say every word perfectly if we cannot read it or if we don't know it we cannot actually be confident in saying it Ariwa if I've never seen that, I will not be confident that I'm correct. I, but many times students will just read and say what 
a C, that's not going to work. It doesn't work for native speakers. So if I create a new word, I can't show you on the screen, but I create a new word. I show you. It's a long word. No one can say it properly except me because no one knows which sounds I'm giving it. I create the word, I create the sounds. But as soon as we hear it, we can copy it because we focus on which sounds are being used. So basically we are copying what we hear. Just looking at a word, and reading it will not help you. Oftentimes, my students say, <clears throat> Nanta, 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 what did he say? I will say, Nanta, whatever. And the first word is, how do you spell it? Goitkak. They want to write it down so they can see it. I say, don't worry about the spelling. It doesn't really matter. It's a sound. And remember the sound. Don't remember the writing. Because English writing is not always equal to the sound. We have the word phone. P-H-O-N-E, why? We have many words that probably would be easier if they were written differently, but we borrow words from many cultures. We just, we just use their words. So <clears throat> if you don't have someone to give you a sample voice, you need to use something like Google Translate, you can type in the word on Google Translate, and there's a microphone. You click the mic, and you can hear the word like telephone. It's a pretty good voice. Google's voice is, is very accurate. So if you can hear the sound, you have a chance, chance to copy. So not to me, I'm going to show you a little bit later, I'm going to show you some words, but not yet. We're going to go over some basic words that are often mistaken. Now, Google Translate, there's another, there are a couple more online uh, sound creators. You can type in a word even a paragraph or a sentence, it'll speak it and read it to you. So don't be afraid to say, I don't know what that is. I don't know because I'm not sure of the sound. I know the word, I know the meaning. I've heard it many times, but I'm not sure. That's okay. So steps about that gonna keep How do you say this? Very important. Not how do you spell it, not just the meaning, but how do you say this? If you can hear it, there's a lot of technical things like your tongue position, your breathing, many things that I teach, but basically just listen carefully. Did they go up and down? Did they go flat? Is the word broken in two or three places? Very important points. And then you copy. Very simple. Now, be careful of Oxford, Oxford dictionaries. They're fine dictionaries, but sometimes they have two different pronunciations. Yirisu Hatsun and American English Hatsun. So, be careful and make sure you are getting the American English sound. So I just recommend Webster's dictionaries if there's an audio. Webster's has a, uh, 
an audio check as well. So Google Translate works fine. Webster's, be careful of more non-American English audio system. My cars over there. You might get the British sound and get some funny lips. Anyway, listen more carefully to speak more clearly. Now, oh, when you're also listening, be careful of computer voices that are not really human. Don't copy that. Good morning. How are you doing today? So you will get there. Man, しないでください That's not. Human voice. You want the human voice, or a really good friend who, you know, speaks well. Ask them what is the sound. Now, I'd like to look at a few words here. I have a slide that shows a couple different words here. Now, these words are often mistaken by Japanese people because they were taught. Differently, it's not that they're wrong. Much got the night, you know, also I got a chiga. So, also, I also got chiga. So, the first one we have, and this is very interesting, but June and Jugon and Nijun in California, you soon at the mall, Chanto California, Gayena. ほとんどの皆さんが、カリフォルニアが、cannot say that. The sound you learned was カリフォルニア、カリフォルニア、カリフォルニア。Those are all Japanese sounds that are being used to make English, but it's not actually English. So, if you listen to a native speaker, you will hear Cala. California. It's not the same. California. How many parts is that? California. That's four parts. Nihongo ego wa California. Six parts in Japanese. American English has four parts. So you want to be careful. First sound is not ka, it is cal. Second sound is not bi, it is la. Now this These letters are not there. It, it, it could be written different to sound more like the, the actual English sound, but it's written like this. But if you close your eyes, forget the word, and say, California. If you hear that, copy that. Cal, you can say that. La. Very easy. Born. It's one of the most easy Born. Second, nya. Nya, 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 Because, because. Now that's what you learned, and that's what you're used to saying. Kikyokuwa, because. The actual sound is because. So, if you look at it, you can see an, a U, letter U. But we actually do not focus on that sound. You know, don't focus, n a t Uh, we skip that because the slight U sound is a ah, cause, because. The most common in the Katawa, the easy in Katawa, because. There's two parts. Now, let's see if I can know.、Um, now, the next sound is U. U. You know that sound to be good. We will never say good. We will not make that shape. We will not make that sound. We will not say it that short. If you notice, 
No one who's a native speaker will do that unless it's on purpose. Now, we're going to have a different mouth shape. Good. Good. Nico Nico Shinagata. Good. Good. So, goo, that's your first mistake. Closing your lips. Just keep smiling. Good. Very good. Good, 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 good. It's more of a tongue sound than a lip sound. Good. Now, the next word is not a word, it's actually several words. Uh, TH-based sounds, or TH by hiking sound, beginning TH, middle TH, side of TH, which is the same Be careful because it seems to be, it seems to be more difficult than I thought. I recently did, I did about a hundred level checks at the seminar very quickly. I did about 130 just a couple of days before I came. So they're not sticking their tongue out, not raising their lip. So that, this, they, saz de, and those. Tongue is in the mouth and there's an S sound. Those, that, they, janak de, bero dashte, that, they, those. You have to raise your lip, upper lip, and make the sound that, eh, 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 that, zato, that, zato, that. So if you're a native English speaker and you want to learn how to copy Japanese English sound, try keeping your tongue in your mouth and saying that. It's going to be zato, this, those. It's actually difficult for us to do that. It's it's not, we're not used to that. But um, zat is the sound. That is the sound. Now, another word, vibrate. Vibrate. Why is this difficult? Well, there's a V and no one raises their upper lip. Vibrate. It's two parts. So, hikutokini. Hata nanko aru. Vibrate. Because. California, vibrate, there's two clear parts. So, vi, and then break. Vi vibrate, vi vi vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. Laburi, laburi. The next word is laburi. That's how you learned it. The problem is the V, again, in the middle. That is not a b sound, it is a b sound. So love, li. And li is often mistaken. Re, re, janakte. Complete the first part. Second part is nikoneki shinagara. Li, li. Love, li. So, 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 very easy. The next one, yahari, muzukashi desu yo. Nihongo yero de yuto, garu. Garu. Ga and du. In Japanese English. Ga, easy to say. Du. A little bit difficult for Americans, but easy for you, Japan. Girl. Girl. We're going to say gur, 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 and then flip it to Earl, it's really tricky, and you may not master it here, but practice usually makes perfect. Girl, girl, so it's gonna, it's not gonna be one sound. It's gonna kind of flip. It's one part, but girl, it quickly changes to like Earl. If you can say Earl, you can say this word. Okay, <clears throat> many people may have a problem with that. Now, the next one, very common. Nihongo de yuto asagohan. Nihongo de yuto breakfast. Fast. Nazuka de noa burek is the first part. F A S T sounds fast or fast. So breakfast. Hmm. 
I don't know what this word means. I'm going to take a guess. It's an early thing to eat. It's like a break that is fast in the morning because farmers would make food for us and they would take a break and they would eat fast and get back to farming. I'm wondering if it came from that. I don't know. Anybody knows? Should I think of this? I should give this a break, uh, break fast. I don't know. But the Hudson wa breakfast. Break, break, ek, ek, break, fist. Or take a fist. So this is your fist, breakfast. That's going to be correct. We don't ever say breakfast. No one's going to say fast. We're only going to say fist, breakfast. Okay? So listen carefully. Listen to your friends. Ask them. Say this word, breakfast. On the dot. They really do not say fast. Of course not. Next one is, uh, it's a preference, but I'm going to say, and I'm going to finish these quickly. Um, family, janakte family. Daito, janakte right. Naka el janakte home. Janakte phone. Marukti phone. Okay? Phone is probably the most difficult. Phone, the round closing sound. Phone. Okay. California, because, good. Vibrate, lovely, girl, breakfast, family, two parts. Fam, Lee, Nahoga. Not family is okay, but family, Nahoga, popular. Right and phone. Okay. Those are our words for this episode, and um, I appreciate you joining me, and thank you for watching Let's Talk Hawaii from Japan today. I will see you next time in Honolulu from Honolulu. Thanks for watching Think Tech Hawaii, and have a great day.